Claire, after you rocked our world with your uh, Moroccan mm. chicken pie, mm -hmm. very good. We're gonna make dessert now to go along with dinner. Yes, absolutely. And this Plum is tart? Um, this is a no bake tart. So this is like a little secret weapon so dessert. Better. Just always have this one in your back pocket because it actually works with any fruit. We started doing it with peaches. Uh, we had a really early season for peaches in Ontario this yeah. year, so peaches are gone. We're doing plums now. You could do this with lightly baked apples. You could do it with berries, anything. Ooh, really, I would do it with apples. really easy. I love apples. I know, so do I. And okay, now we're so gonna we start with some butter. So a little bit of butter, and these are just um, graham cracker crumbs. Mm -hmm. And so this is just gonna make the crust. So this is no bake, no bake. Not that bacon. makes me happy. Whenever I a recipe know. says no bake, I, I love it. And this is something that's it's so just easy. It is, and this I'm is a really lazy. I, I think this is actually a fun recipe to do. And if you have kids who love to take part in the kitchen, yeah. then this is a great one for them to do because they can get in there with their little teeny tiny hands. And actually, having small hands is better for this it's one. It's a good thing. It is. So yeah. this is just crumbs and a little bit of butter. And what we're going to do is make a shell for this tart. So you, you just, just make it a little pasty. Exactly, a little bit pasty. And so what I'm doing is using these cupcake liners instead of like a pie dish or something like that. So that way we're creating like a cupcake. Yes. And you know, cupcakes are still the queen of everything in desserts this, these Everyone days. Everyone is going cupcake crazy, and I, I get know. it. I, I want to have my own little dessert for myself, and uh -huh. I want to eat five. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I love cupcakes. So all you do is take this mixture, and you see you just kind of force it with your fingers into the edges of the uh, cupcake liner. And uh -huh. that is it. And then once you get that all filled and you see how these are all done nicely, mm -hmm. put them in the fridge, chill them down a little bit. Okay. Make a quick filling, mascarpone cheese, which is, you know, a wonderful, rich, lovely Very cheese. Yummy. Beat it with a little bit of vanilla, some honey, and a little bit of orange blossom water if you're doing the Moroccan theme. Oh, nice. If not, honey and vanilla is going to be good just as well. Okay. Take a little bit of that, scoop it into your, oh, you know what, I'm going to show you how beautiful this is. Once this is chilled, you can just pull that off. Good stuff. How long did you chill it for? Oh, you know, about 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. You can do it overnight. Yeah. A little bit of filling goes in. Oh, that was a lot of filling. I got a little <laughs> excited there with the filling. I liked where you were going A little with bit that. of filling. And then you take whatever fruit you like. And as I said, hmm, just you didn't see me do that. Slice it up. Slice it up. A little bit of sugar. We do some toasted almonds, but really very, very adaptable. Whatever you've got in the house, whatever is in season at the market, these go on top, that sugar actually will melt if you let it sit for a little while longer. Nice. A little bit of toasted almond. And then you can either eat that with a knife and fork or you could just pick it up with your fingers and shove it in your mouth because it's so Very delicious. Elegantly. You see, Very so nice. easy. So a great little dessert to know about the next time you're having a dinner party. And so easy. So uh, on our website, cityline.ca, look for the no-bake plum tart. Indeed. Right? Thank yeah. you for that. Claire?